What's up, everyone? Wells Adams from uh, Lightning 100 down at the Hangout Fest with uh, Galactic Rob and Stan. What's up, guys? Hey, good, man. Feeling good. So Hot and sweaty. Hot and sweaty, <laughs> yes. So did you guys just roll in, or how long have you been here? Yeah, literally. I just drove over from New Orleans, and he flew in from New York. He had yeah. a gig there last night. I so. garage and quad tour last night in Brooklyn and flew in just now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish we could have been here a little longer. It's so beautiful down here, you know? So do you get to stick around and see some of the acts later after you guys' show, or is it Well, I think the here? only act that's playing after our set is Paul Simon, yeah. pretty much. And, and I'm actually playing a show in Orange Beach after this with another band, so I'm going to kind of have to split. But you might stick around and see Paul I Simon. i got to go, too. i got a flight out of New Orleans to Dallas tomorrow. For you're a, leaving right away. Yeah. So, so you're, you guys are good friends. Trombone and Shorty just played. Yeah. Is there a possibility that he might be getting on stage oh, tonight? Yeah, if he's, if he's around, I'm sure there's a high probability that he, he's yeah. actually on the on the new our, our new live album that we just put out too. He's a we we collaborate with him a good bit. So the, this new this new live record recorded down in New Orleans, some amazing players on this. On this yeah, live. we had. Uh, we invited a lot of people that we had been working with over the years on previous albums from uh, from the corner of the block at Yakame, our last two albums, and so we invited out Trombone Shorty and the Soul Rebels, uh, Brass Band, Big Frida, uh, Cyril Neville, who's been touring with us. You know that was he was on the gig, uh, like you said, mentioned Trombone Shorty. Um, well, so that's about it, right? Yeah, that's yeah. a lot though to cram into what, 50 minutes of music? Yeah. So, so, do you guys, I mean, I've seen your live performance, it's epic. I guess two part question. One, how do you guys get yourselves ready to put out that much energy into the crowd? We do like interviews like this right before yes, we go this, on, this, and this it just gets us pumped. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And would, do you guys rather put out live albums than studio LPs? Or? Uh, well, we do both. You know, the last live album we put out was 10 years ago, so. But we release kind of like four downloads throughout the years. Uh, we like to do both, you know, like we like to play live gigs, we like making studio albums. It's just kind of yeah. a big, the big picture. It completes the musical profile. Yes. <laughs> you, need, yeah. you need all of it, you know. You yeah. need to diversify. The record you guys put out before the live one, Yakame. Yeah. Tell me, what exactly is Yakame? Is it, is it a, I heard it was a Cajun dish, is that oh, true? Oh no, it's like, a, it's this, uh, it's an Asian. Okay. You might have might have heard K Asian okay. and you thought it was a Cajun, but it's like it's Asian soup that I think was adopted uh, by New Orleans locals, like post Korean War or something like that, and and it's uh, like a locals dish now in New Orleans. They kind of serve it at a lot of the the corner stores and and, uh, and you know restaurants and stuff. And it's basically like a like a you throw anything in it kind of a, a noodle based soup. Yeah. Uh, I like top ramen with all kinds of stuff thrown in, yeah. including an egg. Usually there's an egg thrown in. Yeah. So is that kind of like how the record plays? Is it, is it yeah, a, we kind of thought it was, you know, like, we, we've been hearing musical gumbo as a, yeah. as a description of New Orleans music in our band for years. And it, to us, it's just a little, uh, it's kind of a, a played out term. So when the idea of Yakame came up, we were like, oh, this is kind of the same idea, but it's it hasn't been played out and used by every other band as a description of what they're doing. So we were kind of excited about it. We thought it would be a good uh, title for the album, considering it was kind of our our New Orleans album, and our, us collaborating with, with all our favorite people in New Orleans. I read recently that uh, you guys are on a new HBO series that's taking place yeah. in New Orleans. Talk yeah, about that. it's the second season of Treme. There is currently going. We were uh, in the first season, and then first season, second episode, and then second season, first episode. Yeah, so, it's great that they've included us. You know. yeah. yeah, and did you watch last week? I haven't. Did I've been, you hear about it? I've been traveling so much. Uh, they describe. There's this one character, Davis, one of the main characters, and he's describing to his aunt this uh, this band that he wants to create, and he describes it to his aunt as it's galactic. If they had their way with the with the Hot Eight uh, front line, and they also s were sleeping with uh, with uh, Little Wayne, <laughs> which you know, to me, just to be like that, we are mentioned, mentioned and that, that that they think of us as like a, a New Orleans band that is that that you would use in a description like that is is great. I mean, we're super honored to be part of that. Nice. Uh, 
TV show, and you know, it just got picked up for third season. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. It's been great for the New Orleans music community yeah. in, in general. How are, how are things down there? I mean, I know it's an ongoing process, constantly rebuilding. Yeah, and we're always fighting, you know, it's like, if, if, if it's not Katrina, it's the oil spill, or now we're keeping our fingers crossed about the Mississippi River flooding, and you know, it's like, we're, we always live in risk. Yeah, the city itself is, is rebuilding and the culture is staying strong, but you know, what's really the problem that we're looking at is the wetlands have yeah. been decimated over the years, and it's a man-made problem that can be reversed, yeah. but we just need people to get involved. And you know, since we're on the topic, since you asked, yeah. people can go to health, healthygulf.net or health, healthygulf.org and, uh, and find out what's, what they can do to help. Very cool. Yeah. Is there also a, you guys' website a link through? Yeah, we have some links through some some uh, definitely yeah. some of our causes that we believe in. Yeah. Well, I know you guys got to go and hit the stage. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I wish we could hang one, out. One longer. one last question. Anything in the future? A new album? Are we working? Oh on yeah, we're working on a new album for sure. Yeah. I mean, we we pretty much start a new album right when we finish the last one. It just takes us a while to do it. So we're in the we're in the. Uh, we're like tomorrow. We'll be in the studio working on the new album. Nice. So look for it. Hopefully, spring of uh, next year. Well, thanks so much, guys, for taking the time. I know you guys yeah. are busy, so let you go. Thanks. Uh, I, I can't wait for the set. Thank you very and, much. Uh, enjoy either. the beach. Thank you, my man. For Galactic, I'm yeah. Wells. Say you later. Later. Ooh.